Oh yeah, you're in the studio with the live local artist today on the north side of Fort Worth overlooking the TCC campus. What a beautiful view. I can see the sun starting to light up the sides of the, that building across the lake. Should be a beautiful view, this, this clear Texas winter eve look forward to making this painting here with you i'm going to uh bring out my brush and my colors now uh using this discarded cardboard still let's see what we can do uh, come on off of here now the wind wants to blow it's pretty cold out here oh how's this the sound coming everybody can you hear me thumbs up here we are. Oh, come back here. All right, so we got a little mineral spirit. Get a little orange, orange and white, a little yellow here. We're gonna paint this all the way across there. I don't know how much of the water I'm gonna get in. I really wanna make the structure of the building the emphasis here this, this afternoon. I'm uh, anticipating a display of colors once the, the sun starts to get towards the, closer to the horizon. And I'm just going to scribble in some colors right now that I kind of see reflecting here and there that I think are going to be uh, essential whenever we get to the light show. I love how the horizon just goes on for for so long. It's a big, wide Texas sky. A little burnt umber and some red mixed in there. Just to dance that bank there on the other side. Oh, look at that beautiful blue. That's a nice shade of... Oh, I don't know. There's some French ultramarine in there. A little bit of titanium white a little more titanium white give me more titanium white it's the sky being reflected up oh that's hideous oh i know i know what you're thinking oh i feel the same way about you yeah we're gonna brush that out oh what did you do can't get away from that somebody get me a rag paint rag where you at paint rag here it goes. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of it. It's all right. It's all right. We jumped the gun on that one. Nice contrast there, though. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, let's let's see what happens when we flip that around. Can we flip that around? Will that work for us? Oh, come on! That wind is blowing. Stop! Stop blowing. Just a moment. Oh, come back. Ah, I got two, only one hand free. All right. All right. We're really testing out the Cezanne easel this evening. See if it can hold up, if it can withstand this. Oof. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Play right. Mm. There you go. Take that. I'll take it any day. All right, using a uh, French easel, the Cezanne series. See how it holds up in this kind of windy environment. It, it collapsed once on me the other night. We'll, we'll call it, uh, I'm gonna be generous and say it was uh, user error. Maybe I didn't tighten something tight enough. Well, there's that uh, little bit of trickery I just did there I just uh, zoomed out how did you like that now I flipped my camera my canvas over uh, after that because uh, I figured it would do no harm and it would allow me to play a little bit more with the the geraniums yeah uh, you know it's a little red I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're doing there, Sestida. Well, I'm putting a little cadmium medium down over here for the the long 
reeds at the on the other side of the bank there. I wish I could capture more of that horizon over there, that uh, landscape. So much going on over there. A lot of it's not that green, you know. It's baked the short grass on the other side. Almost blends in with the the actual architecture. I'm just washing in color and creating layer, the feeling of layers here. Maybe that's not going to be the long reads after all. Maybe that's just some some sunshine that's reflecting, it's just getting off the top of the grass over there. It can be anything you want it to be. And let's see. We're going to brush and brush a brush a brush a some trees over here just like that I'm gonna take those all the way across and off the side of that canvas there and then there's probably some green trees happening here and then another one over here scattered throughout the campus you'll find lovely arbor arboreal transitions from nature to architecture. Uh, let's see, I need some titanium white. What do you have? What do you have? Oh, it's sneaking up behind me. Titanium white. The, uh, Windsor Newton Winton. That's what we like doing. Yeah. So... Excited about uh, our t-shirts, and we gotta get some of those up. Just started printing again. Playing with the, the old screen prints, but doing it a little, a little more, some. That's a building block way on the back over there. Uh, meh. Eh, I don't know. I'm adding, uh, it was titanium white mixed with some cadmium medium hue. And now I'm adding this lemon yellow light hue over here right into that because I didn't like the way that that, it just didn't feel like it was receiving real sunlight, that last color. It's still a little bit too, needs a little bit of more titanium white. We're gonna add that just abundantly to that mixture there. An abundant dose of titanium white to just tone that yeller back. Tone that yeller all the way back. Dial it down just a bit. There you go, boys and girls. Now follow the architecture all the way down the campus. Don't mind that your canvas is just all the way too small. You should have never even attempted this with this canvas. You should have known better. What's the matter with you? Well, now we're just going to jumble jamble the rest of the campus into the remaining space here. Remember, you're not even halfway across the campus yet. Look at the structures. And then you're almost done with you. You're almost out of canvas here, bro. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. I always find myself in this predicament, you know. I never give myself enough canvas. But canvas can be expensive, especially whenever you're taking a, a dynamic view and you're trying to really capture the breadth of the, the beauty before you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Certainly, it's a bunch of... It's really angular and... Uh, you know, it's not full of LEDs and all those bells and whistles. It's a simple design. It uses natural materials to reflect the the desert. <laughs> The Texas desert landscape. The West Texas. Well, no. What am I talking about? 
it's the prairie landscape. It just kind of goes with the, the, uh, the landscape. It, the landscape almost evolves into the, the building itself. It's a geometric uh, composition from here. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, an ant mound. A cubist ant mound. It sprawled out. You gotta just kind of spread that paint out. And then just drive it down into the ground with some, some of that same color. Ugh. Don't lose heart, kids. Sometimes you get yourselves into a situation. Remember, this color here doesn't even belong there. It's just smog in the background. That's the pre-rush hour exhaust, okay? When, it's the, uh, when rush hour hits and the light is just right, oh, that's going to be just a beautiful uh, reflection of all, or it's going to, like, the light that's penetrating through the atmosphere and the smog is going to uh, refract into many different shades of the spectrum, and you're really going to just get a a beautiful light show because the highway just runs straight that way. You're going to have like a lot of people trying to get home. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. Back to the water. The water in the foreground. It almost feels like a serape. I'm looking at this. The, the paint almost feels like a serape. What do you think? Let's do something with the sky here. I'm getting a little, oh, uh, you know antsy no leave the sky alone we're coming back to this guy when it catches fire i gotta fight with myself so i'm going to continue uh working with the architecture here we're going to take a, a liner to to our drawing here and we're going to carve out the building details Yeah, I'm uh, breathing hard because I'm holding my breath to make this drawing perfect or as close to perfect as I can. It's not an easy feat and it's not an easy foot. Just gotta trust the brush knows what it's doing. Oh no. That's not the right approach. You got to know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Sometimes you just got to make it happen regardless of your, uh, your practice efforts, you know? You get a chance to practice. You run through it. Oh, and if it doesn't work, darn it. Hmm. Man, there's not enough canvas. Not enough canvas here. I messed up. My cubist ant mound became too much. Uh, what are you going to do? We can start over from here and just start cutting back in this way. Oh. What are you going to do? We're going to readjust. Okay, calling an audible here. I'm going to wipe this part away. Maybe that part too. Hmm. Oh, man. Tisk tisk, ladies and gentlemen. Tisk tisk. I really just messed this one up. Mm. Hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do? It was too, too grand a view. Too grand a view for this. Well, we're just going to start making some line adjustments and... This is where you can now uh, you can just like eh, 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 eh. what happened here it was a it was a spontaneous effort met with instant 
and dismal results. But still, he thrust it onward because, well, he just didn't know when to quit, mostly. And there was still some a glimmer of hope, an opportunity, perhaps, that nobody else could see. We build up the bound a little bit more. Just, let's get some purple. <laughs> what? <laughs> what made you say that? I don't know. But let's get some purple in there. Ooh, that's like some harsh, harsh. Ooh, contrast. Oh, oh, finish it off. Just trust me. Oh, my God. You don't know what you're doing. Fool. You don't know what you're doing. You're making it up as you go. You're just making it up, boy. All right. Looks like the Rockies. Hey. Man, it looks like. All right. What are you going to do now? All right, we did the purple. Hmm. We did the purple. What did that do for you? Oops. Nothing. Nothing at all. We did the purple. What are you going to do now? Well, let's do some uh, man, titanium white. Let's do some titanium white. All right, titanium white. Here we go. Squeezing out a gob of titanium white, just like that. All right, titanium white. We got purple. We got blue. Let's get some of this red here. What is that red? I don't know. Leftover red. Let's get some leftover red. And we're going to mix that with a gob of titanium white. Right on top of all that yellow and stuff that you were using before this this is the these are the the people who got out early so they can rush and beat the traffic this is their contribution to our sunset right here that's right these are the early they went to work early right they got to the to the job site early and they get to go home Cook supper now. Okay. I don't believe you. I don't believe you are a series of buildings in the background. And I'm telling you right now. I don't believe you are. Well, that's better. We're going to just cut this all away here. Ooh. Oh, I know you're saying... What horrible colors you're using there, Sestida. What a horrible choice of colors. Maybe so, my friend. But I'm entitled to that every now and then. But then, maybe, just maybe, I can pull this off. And it will look like, it will look like, like I knew what I was doing all along. Maybe... Maybe do something like that. Hmm. Let's just carry this all the way up. Carry all that. It's just rising on up to the ozone. Let's see. Let's get some. Let's get some blue right in here. But real blue. None of that made up. Windsor blue. Give me some real blue. Give me some freaking French ultramarine. Give me that French ultramarine right there. Like that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Let's get, what else? Let's get some uh, more blue. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just felt like putting some cerulean hue in there, too. Just like that. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that? Ah, my fingers are so cold. Oh. Oh. Cold fingers. And I need... I need a knife. I need... A palette knife. Hmm. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, mm -hmm. Palette knife, where are you? I don't have a palette knife. I thought I had a palette knife. 
How can I not have a palette knife? What? Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. What are you going to use for a palette knife? Sorry to do this, buddy. This was my uh, mineral spirit holder for for some time now, and now it's going to just have to be my palette knife. Don't try this at home, boys and girls. Remember, this design is already patented. We're just gonna do this number here, like that. Oh, 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 that's too much color there. I need to add some white. I need a real palette knife. Oh, voila, thank you, thank you. Come back and see me. I'll be here all week. That's the end. Cezanne, you okay there? You okay, Cezanne? Can you handle that? A little more than you were made for, huh? Just a little bit more than you thought. How's that look? Can you guys see that all right? Do I need to adjust the color? What's up? How are you doing? Can you see that okay? Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna do this number here. Oh, it's blue. That's a lot of blue right there, my friends. That's a whole lot of blue. Oh man, that's so much blue. I feel like I'm looking at Lucia's paintings. Oh, Lucia's my. Yeah, he just. Need to watch some episodes. You'll get to know her. All right, boys and girls, what do you think? Uh, hmm, man, that's some serious blue. I almost want to bring the land back up in here like that. Just get push this over this way some more. This is a lake right here. What the lake has risen. See, we're going to find that balance after all. Oh, we're going to just bend the horizon over there. Doing a little fish eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's put a reflective thing over here. In a, it's a big ceiling, I think. Could be. I haven't been to the campus in forever. Literally. <laughs> it's been forever. We're gonna add some of this blue right in the middle of here. That's where. That's. Good stuff right there. Good chap, good chap. Now let's see what we can do. Hmm. Well, we need some white in this place. Some white in the house. Ah, oh, let's see. I'm adding a little bit of uh, that blue-white mix right up to the edge of the building in the sky. Growing a little impatient for the sunset. It's a good thing I have another canvas so when it does dramatically change and I need... I'll have wished I had started it sooner though. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay. Mmm. Go with it. Do it. Alright, alright, alright. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
brush that all around. Let's get it down here, all the way around. Take it, oh, cut across, come back up, and then do this little doohickey right there, like so. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, darn it, darn it! <laughs> I flop, went too far, went too far with that. Well, there's only one thing you can do, and that's just do that, number two, and then come back and build it back over. Build it back up. Just got rid of it, build it back up. Okay. Well, so now yeah <laughs> that's what I said well okay now so now okay so how um, I'm mixing up a drawing color here we're gonna draw in some more details for the architecture there of course nobody expects this to be a blueprint of the facilities in fact i'm like even carrying it i'm just redrawing it over here a little bit so that i can get a little bit more uh, a little bit more space it's a long campus it's big i need a more of a i need a larger canvas is what i need it's good practice though this is a good practice effort just because it wasn't the right size I didn't scrap it I went with it sometimes you find when you do that you actually come up with a better piece than if you actually had all everything you could have wished for you know sometimes the improv, improv is what brings the artist's edge out now sometimes you I'm fucking saying something you can improv a little too much I and mean, you can mess it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true too. It's a delicate balance, really. Gotta be balanced. That's in all things. Gotta be balanced. Hmm. So it's okay that I'm painting into this blue stuff over here. Use it as atmosphere. You know, it's gonna sun's gonna set, it's gonna be some shadows over there. Anticipate that. You know what's up. You've been looking at the landscape a long time. You know how light can play on certain features. This reminds me a lot of uh, looking at a mountainscape. The way the, the sides, the, the faces of the mountaintop kind of form out of the, naturally out of the earth. beginning to remind me of one of Cezanne's landscapes the way he breaks up the landscape almost like you're looking at a broken mirror almost cubist hmm, cubism being a influence tonight painting the faraway windows of the larger building here you have to sometimes just create make the landmarks on the canvas and then build around that or uh, evolve from there hmm <laughs> Well, some things are not quite right in this composition, evidently. We're just going to brush it into the rest of it. All right, so I got a little lost up there on the, on the trail of the, the tops of the... Let's wipe some things away. Wipe some things away. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful sight that is. Clean canvas. 
almost clean. I'm just turning this all to taking it away, getting back to some canvas texture there, stained with eons of paint, layer upon layer. Brush that around like that. Oh, this was another building. That's right. There was a building standing there. Let's see this. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, here comes the sun. Okay, that's a wing. Let's see here. Let's put a little thing right there. This is supposed to be a tower way off in the distance. It's like looking at a medieval city, fortified citadel on the hill. With the water tower way in the back. And the sound of the highway not too far away. It's pretty level up here. As far as, oh, more, more, more. I need more white. Getting lazy. Not squeezed out any more white. Very soon, my friend, very soon I'll do that. I'm just scrubbing whatever I can get off the canvas right now, or the palette, this old palette. It's time to retire it. Hmm, let's bring this top of the building around here. That's a building top. It's gonna turn orange, bright orange with the sun, like gold. Okay, well, let's outline that again. Hmm, brush, I need a good brush. Not a chump brush. Bringing out the burnt sienna this evening for the first time. Hopefully it'll help me to establish a little bit more earthiness to this composition. I really made a mistake with that blue down at the bottom there. Hmm. I'm gonna wipe some of that away. It's amazing. Look at that. It's like a whole nother depth of the lake happening right there. Maybe I'll put the Lake Worth monster in there. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to get a little bit of that burnt sienna I put down. Mix that with, I don't know what this is, some bluish green. And now we're going to go back and redraw the shape of the buildings, the campus here at the at TCC. I'm mixing burnt sienna with dioxazine purple to give me a good wintery feel on the the shadows way off in the distance. Okay, now we're gonna bring that all the way across. It's like anything, repetition helps. It's my first time to actually come out and draw the buildings. But it's not my first time to draw. So I figure I can adapt my technique to what I'm having to look at. Hmm. Lines, movement, distance, a tree in the corner, a nice little architectural element here, and an interesting angle, a stair step kind of thing. And then the atrium happening over there was new. 
highly modern roofing material happen over here. Then we got a upper level over here. A nice shadow happening on the side here that cuts across the Texas sky. Just and then over at an angle, back down. Come on, climb that hill. Drops, comes across. Ooh, I don't know about that. Might not be, I don't know. Comes across for a long way and then it cuts back. Oh, wrong way. It cuts back, but recedes in the distance. Oh. Uh -huh. And then, where are you? Wow, not enough. I don't have enough of this. Once again, I find myself like, oh, you gotta jam that, you gotta jam the A wing up the B wing. All right, so. Now we're gonna put a tower over here. Well, we got rid of about uh, a million square meters over there. And we're gonna just do something like that. Ah, that block's turning orange. The sun is starting to hit. Come across the sky just right. Mm. The shadows are creeping across the other sides of the building, way off in the distance. I'm giving you the feeling of the TCC campus, the impression of the TCC campus. Do you TCC with me? And then there's some trees all down here. It's a lovely little site. There's plenty going on over there. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that sunlight working its way across. You're gonna need some more orange on your palette, buddy. All right, all right, here it comes. Cadmium orange coming across. Lovely colors, there that is, that is, indeed. Let's see, there's some. Hmm, something up here. Can't have this right here for very long. Thin little blue line over there. Maybe it's purple. Okay, okay, let's see. Things are getting orange. Things are needing some white. <laughs> what I do with the white? <laughs> I'm looking for my white. Oh, found it. All right, so let's see how this comes out. Oh, come on, white, don't struggle with me. Ah. Ah, it's like the toothpaste. You gotta... Uh, there you go. Now, let's see here. White, orange. Look at the way... Can you see the building in the background? I'm sorry I haven't really paid attention to the way things look for you. I'm going to. I'm coming back here, taking a look. See how things are. You see that? Very nice in the background. I hope everybody's having a good time. Tell me where you're watching from. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of color to this composition here. Oh, hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, remember this? Remember how I used this earlier? I was just scrubbing with that. Just scrubbing. I got some blue. Uh, I'm going to come back with that blue here. I'm going to dip it right in there. Get some of this here. Like that, right? Ooh, that's a lot of blue right there. Oh. Uh. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know what that's going to be. Is that going to be buildings? A nice shadow there. Oh, I might like it. It might work for me. 
Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There's some shadows happening over there. There's some definitely some shadows down in here. And then Oh yeah. And then a lot of little dots in this in the water here. Just is gonna help tie things together. That's not working. Not working for me. I think this tiny little brush tip. I don't know if you even got to see that. Find a good position to make all these marks. This is a mixture of uh, cerulean blue, French ultramarine, and on the bottom of a plastic cup, or it's a water bottle that I cut in half. I was using it to hold my mineral spirits in on some other paintings. You can see those in, at Live Local Artist on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram too. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? Just go on over to Instagram, give me a like and a thumbs up, and give me an old follow there. Do the same thing there, Facebook. You can click the alert button every time I go live, you get a little ding, ding. Yeah, you never have to miss out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I figure if you just keep on hacking at it, it's going to come off. You know what I mean? So just keep hacking at it. Hack away, my friends. That's what he said. Mm, I'm not sure about this over here. That's an awfully long ceiling over there. That's fine. But I need more, uh, what is that, made of brick? I need more brick. Mix a little burnt sienna with some orange and some white and some yellow. Now the brick's over there. I'm starting to look like it's on fire in some areas. That orange from the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It looks like it's made with reflective material. But it's not. That's what's so amazing about it. Okay, let's see. Some of that orange here. Mixing up a nice... That's going to come from... Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of that over here. Where am I putting you? Where am I putting you? Because where I put you now, you're going to stay. Now that it's happening... Sun's going down on my side of town. Ooh, that wind's cold. It's hitting me. And then there's a thing that juts out over here. And on the other side over here. Is that right? There's it right here. Building back here and it goes down. There's a long hallway over here. Long hallway over here. There's some bricks on top of here and then there's another wing that reflects that same architectural design element over here of the angled tower. I guess that's, that's fair enough. I call it the angled tower.
and then the uh, the neat design elements of the the buildings they had these angle receding lines that frame out the windows so it looks a little Mondrian in the in the distance adding to that cubist ant mound I was talking about earlier and it uses the natural shape of the the landscape to enhance the divided features of the architecture the different wings of the building I suppose oh the moon look at the moon I just noticed it what what's up moon oh, sticking with it getting colder getting colder it's getting see the moon is uh, that little thing right there starting to come out. I'll put that in too. Getting colder. It's getting colder. It's getting. I'm chilly. I'm sorry, I keep singing about it, but. Mm. Dot 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 dash 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 dot de dash dash dot 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 de de dash dash just gotta keep getting the dots all the way across the page. Don't stop, don't stop, just keep going, you're almost there, keep dot dot dotting. Oh now you know. You know what Van Gogh went through with those swirls and the tap 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 yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just coming back at a different angle now to show the backside of each little tiny wave out there in the water. The backside, the shadow of the wave. Each wave has a shadowy side. That's right. So, oh. Man, it never ends. Get some white. What are you gonna do with that white, Gerald? I'm gonna put it right here. Why? Why did you do that? Well, I felt like I needed something to divide the water from the land. To divide the water from the land? Well, take some more white and outline some of your buildings over here. Ooh, the moon is coming out. You see the moon, y'all? Oh, I'm so frustrated with myself. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it's chilly. Um, uh, um, not really sure. I want a big, thick... I uh, need to do something right there. But first we got to do something right here that's going to tie this all into a receding landscape. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go, team. What are we going to do? Hmm. I've got... Oh! <laughs> i got some burnt sienna. Is that burnt sienna? Mur and purple here. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to... Oh, man. i got more purple than I wanted. I'm going to add some orange to that. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm making a mess. And then we're going to paint in this... <sighs> Look at that. How's that? Did that do it? Kind of not feels like things like a little more drama. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, let's clean that off. Let's not do anything more with that because you can mess everything up. Um, now, let's see here. Mm, I really like that, Buffy. Very, very nice there. <laughs> I'm just going to come back in and cut it in with a little bit of this. Oh, what do you call that there? The lace? Yeah, that's some uh, that are very, very splendid. It's a little shady. But lovely, nonetheless. Lovely. Lovely shade of 
Uh, what do you call that? Pink? Yes, pink indeed. I'm gonna brush that around like so. It's on. Ooh. Luscious. Look at that. That's a lovely, lovely Valentine's gift there, darling. Yes, indeed. It's not too early to start shopping, you see. Get you out of trouble before you even get into it. <laughs> what do you say? Drop me an old DM over there. Let me know how much you like this painting, you know. Be sure to reserve it for you. <laughs> Easy to do, really. Just one, two, three, click. <laughs> Silly. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. I can see a little, uh, a little something. I can see. Chicka see, chicka see, chicka see, chicka see. Need some orange. Oh, look at that landscape in the background. It's so beautiful. Oh, man. Man, that's. The way that the shadows are stretching along the horizon over there. That tree is on the bank there, reaching greater heights than it ever thought imaginable. And I get to witness it. I get to be here with you, and we're watching it together. The sun is setting. Oh, man. Thanks for joining. I'm the live local artist. Today I'm painting this glorious sunset as it's starting to happen here. Glad to be here. I've been, you know, whipping it out. Yeah. Watch it now. Watch it now. It's over there whipping it out. Uh, let's get some white. Let's do a little something with that. The moon. Can you see the moon over there? It's starting to emerge. That's a nice size. It's going to get smaller. That's why I'm going to start painting it in right now so we can remember... How it hung just above the campus on this beautiful winter day. Ooh, get a clean brush and brush that around there, lad. Sure. The moon is hard to paint. You just got to keep trying. You're going to get it right one day. Maybe I should watch a how-to, a YouTube how-to on painting the moon. If there's a good one, send me a link. I'm still learning myself. Love the moon. I love the moon. Mmm. Hmm. Makes me want to howl. Howl! I love the moon! Ah, well, darn it. Uh, hmm. Eh. You had it. I had it. I had it for just a brief moment. I had it. Oh, look at that airplane cutting across the moon. Nice. Wow, good shot. Oh, and what are you doing now? You're adding blue? What? Dude. Dude, what did you just do? Dude. Dude. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Dude, stop. Dude. Oh, oh, I saw. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, dude. Looks like the moon. Ooh, what are you doing? That's so awesome. Keep it up. Okay. I'm going to keep on up. I'm going to keep on upping it. Yeah. What? Texture. Mmm, color. Wow. You did that on purpose. Oh my gosh, you're missing the red on the landscape. Whoa. Hurry up. Man, get some more red on this. Oh, I hope that's the right shade of red because, man, when I go at it, it's going to be on. What color should I put with that red? I don't know. Whoa, you could, those birds just flew overhead and I could hear all their wings. Okay. 
Red and green. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Mm, do that again. Get some more green. Got too much red that time. Got too much red. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. Keep it up. Oh, there's trees there. I need to add the trees. Watch more trees. More trees. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the landscape goes up. Mm. And it comes back at you. Landscape goes up. Boop. And it comes back at you. Right there. Coming up. Coming back at you. Rows and rows of grass, blades and blades of blades. They all mind each other's business. No, that's not what I meant to say. They all mind each other's space. That's right. Hmm. I, things fall apart right in here, okay? I forgot to fix that. Cause it's getting away from me right there, but you gotta just okay. Let's see some of this action here. Ooh, it's chilly, chilly on this side of the the lake. There's trees all down here. Can I do those trees? I can do those trees. Okay, let's see here. Oh, let's see. Windows need to happen right here. Just a small bank of windows. A small bank of windows right here. Can you see all that? It's purple. And then a smaller bank of windows right here. And in a tiny bank of windows in comparison to those right there. And another one. It looks like a... I don't know. All right. Let's see here. We need some trees on the bank before it gets too dark. Hurry, hurry. I didn't plan on being out here this long. Thanks for tuning in, sticking with me. Hope you guys are enjoying this, watching me make a painting here. I was uh, driving by and I saw this and I said, hey, you know, that might make a good painting. And so here I am. Uh, let's get some. Trees right here. Oh, this is gonna be. Uh, I don't know about this, man. Leave the trees out for now. Let's do some windows. The trees, you can always just add trees later. Add those tiny windows while you got them in front of you. The window over here. Add a little blue to that brown and then some purple. Grab that orange. I'm gonna make some orange. Ooh! Get off of here. Oh man, there it is. Everything's turning color. The moon's coming out. Oh, I see the, the white trim. Oh, the, the, there's like a. The different angles of the building are starting to be accentuated. Very cool. Yeah. More details than I'd initially drawn. Very nice. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. And then we're going to bring this back around this way. And then there's a building over here. There's a building over here. And a building over there. Let's remember. Oh, yeah. Hi, I just had to see. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Come on. Acrylics and watercolors. Oh, yeah. My, come on over here. I'm doing oil tonight. Oil is... Uh... It's pretty difficult to do. Oh, that's well, well, thank you. I'm just trying to... It, I needed a longer canvas. I found that early on. That's absolutely wonderful. They have the community arts here right across from Amon Carter. Uh-huh. And they have some shows in the spring and in the 
the fall, you should definitely enter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure, I'll look into that. Thanks. Well, I'll tell you, you've done very well. Mr. Cool, can I give you a card? Sure. You can see some stuff online at uh, Live Local Artist on Instagram and Facebook. Uh-huh. And uh, that's one of my pieces on the card there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What's your name? Jim Gocher. Jim. I live up here. I've done, uh, well, I've just in the last 15 years done uh, mostly charity art. Okay. But I've got uh, about 70 paintings I've sold a little over there. Wow. But uh, I've been doing it for about 30 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very cool. Do you have a website? Can I see you on, are you on Instagram? No, I'm, I'm living a different millennial. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right, me too. Me too for the most part. <laughs> I, uh, in Wichita Falls, they have the Kemp Center. Uh-huh. And they also show a lot of uh, art. Uh, I got Judge's Choice this last year. Oh, good. Congratulations. On, uh, mystery art. I mean, if they'd seen my name, they probably would. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. What was the mystery? I don't. What was the mystery art uh, mystery category? Art was they uh, had five categories uh -huh. that they had, and they had seascapes, and, uh, and they had uh, craft art, and they had uh, uh, impressionism. Yeah. And uh, they had uh, uh, still, still art. And uh, anyway, they got the guy from Jesuit. Baptist Museum that's here okay. in Dallas, and he was one of the judges, and then they got the curator at Midwestern University to come out and be. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, but they had that, and they had a youth contest. We raised some money, though. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that sky. I, I, it happened. I wasn't sure about it at first. Uh, then the moon started coming out, and I was like, "Hey, I kind of it's kind of working." So I just kind of scrubbed back and forth, and uh, just recently, like th all this here, I was just scrubbing it with a pretty dry brush. Uh -huh. I use a lot of mineral sp spirits when I'm painting with my oil, so it kind of gets to work, get like watercolor almost because they kind of bleed into the, yeah. the the fibers I use of the a canvas. Lot of my hands. That's like you oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get the mineral spirits and then smear it over there. And yeah. Right yeah. There. Exactly. Right. That's right. I do that. Love it. Love to get into it. Trees are, are difficult, but uh, mm. I'm in your way. Oh but well. Anyway, you have a have a good day. I will. Thanks for good hanging good out. With that. Yeah. Thank you. I like the uh, photography. And uh, wildlife photography. Okay. But I can't get her to enter anything. Oh no! What? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I love meeting people and getting the response and just. Well, I'll tell you, it's really good. And we used to go all the time to Corpus Christi. Uh huh. And there were a lot of artists like you out on the beach. Oh yeah. Uh, and they they'd have their stuff and sell it mostly for a, a day's uh, meal. <laughs> yeah, right. I know how that is. <laughs> hey. We'll see you later. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah, the colors are changing on the brick over there. So I'm just adding a little spark and flare to... Oh, look at the moon. It's starting to really stand out back there. Let's find a clean brush and brush in some more blue around that. Look at the airplane coming across the sky. Oh. Oh. The nice man stopped by. He, he might be somebody. He said, look him up. I'm going to look him up. Good one. Oh, look at the purples on the horizon of the sky over there. Starting to... 
The moon looks like a pearl hanging over the sky. Yeah, so the talking stopped. It's all right. Sometimes you just gotta get busy. Ooh, what did I just touch? I touched a lot of white. Whoa. All right, Gerald. It's getting cold out here. What are you gonna do? Broken up a little bit. All the way down. Omber. Omber. I don't know, man. Just keeping my keeping the blood flowing because it's getting cold. All right, some trees now. Trees in the foreground. Happy little trees. Come on, happy little trees. Oh man, come on, happy little trees. Come on. Oh, happy little tree. Happy little tree. Happy little tree. Happy little tree. Oh, we need some more color. Come on. Oh. Ah, I'm saying come on because it's so cold. My fingers are numb. All right. Stop complaining. Get your work done. Stop complaining. Get your work done. Watch out. Make sure that tree looks like a tree when it's all said and done. Oh, man. Mm. What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, Gerald? I don't like it. Don't like it. You're losing it, boy. You're losing it. I'm losing it, kid. Man, this tree business might just ruin this painting. But they're there. They're there in the foreground. How am I supposed to ignore them? You could have ignored them. Oh, dude, they're going to kill you. Don't let them kill you, buddy. I shouldn't have done them. They're hard. You just got to be organic. Who's organic at this hour? Just gotta let it. Just be the tree, Gerald. Be the tree. I know. You just gotta. Utrio it. You gotta utrio it. Utrio the trees, man. Feel. Utrio. Coming there, coming along, coming along. 
Keep it going, kid. Keep it going. All right, now let's do some scribble, 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 scrabble. scribble, scrabble. We're gonna scribble, scrabble. That's gonna give us a little texture across the bottom and help to make it feel like weeds and reeds and grass and things on the bank growing. Get some brown, get some mineral spirits, get some blue, get some green. They're just gonna scribble, scrabble. Get some, another brush, get some orange, scribble, scrabble. It's just like your eye can't even focus on anything down there. It's just like such a jumbled mess of signatures. And I could write a story in here, you never know. Oh, look how the horizon has changed in the background now that the sun is not hitting it anymore. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's like a prayer. Coming out here, making this painting. It's like a prayer at Thanksgiving or a beautiful day. And then the, uh, the chance to see the sky change and hear the coyotes starting to their songs in the background is, uh, you know, it's the, the universe reciprocating the love. And the shadows start to fall over on the building that's across the, the way. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in today. We got to see the sun go down. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, what did I do? It's not that colorful. What's the matter with you? You should have known better. Oh, man. Oh, 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 La, 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 la. Never get to finish. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I need some yellow right up in there. Come on, we need to get going. Your fingers are cold. Like Toledo. <clears throat> I don't know. It was a good exercise. Thanks for tuning in. I'll sign it. And then I'll sign off. Can I scratch my signature in? This one's a little different. I scratched my signature in. Let's take a look at it. There's the moon. I don't know how well that came across. Thanks for tuning in tonight. There's those trees. There's that scrawled in signature. Here's what I was looking at. The moon way over there. Take you in for a closer look. Yeah, look at that. Contours, all those angles. Tough to do. That's my interpret. <laughs>